stick around. Game two is tonight. Yes. Uh, as some of you know, I'm the PA announcer, I've one heard. half of the PA announcers for the Mets. So I thought it would be fun to bring in some of my New York Mets family to New York Living. I like when my worlds collide. Absolutely. So uh, without any further ado, joining us live from the comforts of his home, my fellow PA announcer, or City Field, the one and only Colin Cosell. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Colin, thank you. Colin, Hi. Is that a fancy background? Where are you? Uh, that is uh, a shot That's from the booth from last night. Oh. Uh, last night's uh, Mets uh, victory over the New York Yankees, if you didn't hear. Um, <laughs> yeah, I took, took that I like shot the way from, he the, uh, from the booth. My apologies to Alex Lee, but my congratulations to you guys on one month. I can't believe I'm here oh on this gosh, momentous thank occasion. You. Yes, Can thanks you so believe much. this gestation period is going to be fantastic? Talk to us in my nights. <laughs> yes. When we really, when <laughs> we, we give birth to the show. When we really get started. <laughs> so, Colin, uh, I brought Chris Amino, lifelong Mets fan. Yes. to the ballpark a couple of months ago and I was trying to tell him you and I go way back like what's like the history? Rock and chairs. what's the history here like rock and chairs yeah I mean literally from the minute we were hired uh, they kind of tossed us into a, a back <laughs> office and they're like here hammer out your schedule good luck and I'm like, <laughs> okay so I guess right. this is a prime opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better um, and uh, yeah we hit it off like gangbusters and she's been my sister from another mister ever mm -hmm. since and uh, and the the, uh, the the older sister yeah. that uh, I didn't know I needed, um, yeah. but uh, alas, here we are, and we're a brilliant two-headed monster, and it's uh, it's truly an honor to be able to share the booth with uh, the great Marisol Castro. So, I mean, your check is um, in the yeah. mail. Our executive producer he just said well. you're cute, it. It. so you have that going for you. Um, yes, he. The, we we make we make the magic happen. Uh, no, the both voices of God. Now I'm in the presence of from City Field. Yeah, it's very impressive to me. I'm always impressed by that. Now, you were at City Field last night, obviously working, but the energy was a little bit different. This is the Subway Series. We've had some big games already at City Field, but the energy was a little bit different for you in the booth. How does that feel? And and what was it like to see the victory last night? I mean, first of all, to have a sellout crowd in July is, I mean, its you, you can't beat it. it it's electric. It, it had a playoff kind of vibe to it. You had ch uh, chants going back and forth of, let's go Yankees, let's go Mets. Um, and, of course, the Yankees fans were going ballistic in the top of the first when there was those back-to-back -back home runs by two players who will not be named. Uh, but then the Mets... Then the Mets came right back in the uh, the bottom of the first and said, we're not backing down to nobody. Um, this is our city, too. And uh, it was cruise control from there. It was electric. And I'll tell you something. I've never been so happy to be booed in my entire life. I mean, anytime <laughs> I announced one of the Mets players, just a cacophony, just bellowing right at me. And I was like, yes, send your hate my yes. way. This is the synergy I thrive on. Uh, but for the most part, no one could hear me anyway because it was just that loud. <laughs> I was going to ask, I mean, do you crank it up just naturally because you're caught up in the energy that you're surrounded by in a game like that? Yeah, I mean, we, and I'm sure uh, Madi can attest to this as well, we kind of modulate our voices based on how the game is going. Yeah. Um, but because it was the first inning and we're already down to nothing and bringing up Brandon Nimmo to lead off, I, you know, I can't really back off of that. But if we are, you know, in a losing situation, to be like, you know, the... The right fielder, Brandon Nimmo, even though he's center field, whatever. Um, <laughs> from last night. I know baseball, don't you, Mike? Um, I love it. And, uh, and, but, you know, for, for last night, yeah, definitely cranked it up a, a notch because it, it was just that electric and just hoping that maybe someone out there could hear me. Um, we but, all uh, did. I'll tell we you all what. heard you. It was uh, fantastic. Well, Apparently, people could hear me when I brought in Edwin Diaz, and I love bringing him into the game. I love it when they start playing the trumpets. I play that song some mornings uh, just, to just to, like, get we, amped. Get all, this, all this inside baseball, but yesterday I was telling Chris that I have my home voice and my away voice, and I sh told I shared my secret, which is when I bring in our guys, I smile. Now batting the first baseman, number 20, Pete Alonzo. And when I'm doing our foe, I don't smile. Sure. What is your, because we are never in the booth together, except right. when he's my spotter, and then it goes to hell in a handbasket, and we almost got fired last <laughs> oh, that's weekend. that's not going to work too So well. sorry, Uncle Steve. Um, but what <laughs> is your, what is, what do you do when you announce the guys? Because you have a great voice, and we're going to get into your genetics mm. about your great voice, but what, what is, what do you do when you're, when you're announcing? Since um, I'm not there. For, 
for the home team, um, you know, it, it's just giving it that 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 oomph, I guess. Um, you know, as I said, for you know, uh, the, the center fielder Brandon Nimmo, and it's just like boom, it's trying to hit you right oh, in the face yeah. with the player's name. But if it's for you know the Yankees, I'll I'll say you know that guy Aaron Judge. <laughs> Put a little on it, uh, and. I actually I, I got I got in a, a little bit of trouble early on because I was kind of gargling um, oh, and oh. grumbling my way through the uh, uh, the opposing teams and they're uh -huh. just like no one can understand you because you're putting so much stank on yes. it. Can you just lay off the stank a little bit and then take it from there. So I went from you know like Aaron Judge to like the right fielder Aaron Judge, oh, fine. fine, you know like doing you a favor. Well, I think uh, not only the genetics from the broadcasting side, but maybe some of that attitude, of course. You are the grandson of sportscaster Howard Cosell, and I heard, and I grew up watching your grandfather. Look at uh, him. You know, I remember him through all those Muhammad Ali fights and yeah. things, the interviews he would do. Uh, I heard you do a great impersonation. Can you, you lay a little, a of little Howard. of your grand, grandfather on us? I can't say I've ever been more <laughs> offended than hearing the great Chris Semina was in the booth, and I was sans invitation. Marty, we need to have a talk. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, know who he throws me I never get invited for the fun stuff. Marty gets all the cool visitors, and I, I get like wayward co-workers who are like, yeah, it's boring in the control room. Let me see Colin, and I'm like, okay. Colin, Let me spill is, some beer on Colin is a man of the people. He calls games, windows open, so fans mad. come up to him, they love him. Me, I close the window, I put a hood up, and I'm like this. Mrs. I don't want to talk to anybody. She's so warm and fuzzy this one, isn't so she? so warm and fuzzy. So engaging. She does. She, she, she turns into General Palpatine. From I do. <laughs> she's there, she's like, yes, I'm feed dying. me your players, and I will announce them one by one. <laughs> He's got you down. That's uh, yeah, He is the little brother I never had nor wanted, but I love him to <laughs> death. So we took last night. Uh, here's to the Mets winning game two sweep, and sweep, a 100% sweep. sweep of the whole thing. We've got Max going tonight. You would think you Mad would Max. think this might be an easy one, but you never know, right? You never know. Yeah, I mean, the, the Yankees' bats, uh, you take a look. They have scored, I think their run differential is plus 200, yeah. uh, and the, the Mets are in fourth um, with 89. Right. So that kind of tells right. you the disparity there. Um, but I'm really excited for it. I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint Miss Alex Lee, who I've been a fan of. <laughs> Uh, on the radio for years, and now I get to see her on TV, and now I'm going to disappoint her by saying sorry, but you're going to have to get swept this week. <laughs> and Alex, is that simple? Can't break over here? You can't catch a break, <laughs> not with Colin. First, we're Costello. slamming New Jersey on, or now, now this. Now we're slamming you. Thank you so much. Colin. We will be listening and watching, and one day we hope to have you here join us yes. live in studio. After we win the world championship. Oh, Marty, mm -hmm. if you think we are going to get fired being in the booth, yeah. <laughs> bad idea. But I, I'll take the invitation and see what happens. Let's Man. tempt fate. Man. Guys, thanks so much for having me. Colin. This was awesome. LGM. Have a great night tonight.